So Ruth Ann Richards, author of Reclaim Your Intuition. One question, but a big question, and probably the hottest topic that happens around Christmas and New Year for people, our health. Mm. So I'd like to ask you today, how could reading your book, Reclaim Your Intuition, help me with my health? When we're connected to our intuition, when we're deeply connected, we feel more empowered. And we know more, we know more about what's going on with the different parts of ourselves. So in the book, I talk about the ego, which is kind of like the young, impetuous teenager wants everything now and kind of can block our success. Talk about heart, body, mind and soul and the intuitive part of us. And when we know what's going on in our heart, mind and soul, we can connect it to the body. Because we are holistic beings, our mental health is not separate from physical health or separate from, from who we are. So when you can use some of the shortcut methods to intuition that are in the book, you can then really start to connect your body. And one of the things that I often do with, with clients and I work with them individually is a body scan. So you can do my lazy meditation, which is just sitting around with a cuppa, as, as most people know, and just, just, you know, in your mind, connect your intuition, and then just go through your body and notice where you feel the niggles. So I had, um, I had a niggle very recently, in fact, this week, and a pain had come up that I hadn't had for a while. So I was like, okay, well, first of all, I need to, I consciously need to pay attention to this. And I sat, did my laser meditation and, and just asked my intuition, what is it I need to do this week? What do I need to know to support this? Now, whether or not you then go on to see a GP or whatever is entirely up to each individual, you will know what to do, what is right for you. But a lot of people, and especially men, right, put off dealing with these physical things. And so what I ended up doing was I had a really hot bath that afternoon. I cuddled up on the sofa with a blanket, watched some um, really, you know, old fashioned Christmas TV movie, had a good sleep that afternoon and felt much better the next day, it kind of started to wear off. So that's just a small example. But intuition is all about listening to an inner part of you. But you also have to listen to your body as well and what your body has to tell you. So if you've got a physical symptom, it might be as a result of stress, and a lot of people feel stress over the holiday season. Don't just notice it, do something about it, you know? And when you check in with your intuition, you stop the questioning and you know what to do. Amazing. So I love that you put in there at the end about taking action, because that's very, very important. And I know you talk a lot about receiving. So um, really receiving help when you have a health issue. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you.